Hi, my name's Alex, I'm from Sony Ericsson, and today I'm going to show you how to use the web browser and also look at some of the applications available on the new Sony Ericsson Vivaz handset. So to get started and go straight onto the browser using the Sony Ericsson Vivaz handset, you can go about it in two easy ways. The first option is to set it as a shortcut on this panel, or the other option is by pressing the main menu key and then pressing on internet. When you do that, it will then load up your home page and from here you can see some icons across the bottom. Starting on the right hand side you have zoom in and zoom out. In the centre, when you press this key, it will then take you straight to inputting a new website to visit. And then finally on this side you have the other options menu where it will give you the opportunity to load up bookmarks, go to your home page again, save a new bookmark, you can find a word within a document on a page, you can also refresh the page, look for any help, go to any feeds, so for example if you go into the BBC website and there's a feed available then you can actually select that and it will save it as a feed for you to access in future. You then have settings, overview which will list all of the previous pages that you've been on and then finally full screen where it will get rid of all of these icons and give you the web page in full screen. If we want to go to a certain website, as I've said before, press this icon here and then input what website you're after. When you're finished, press the green tick and then press go to. This will then load up the page and from here you use your finger to scroll through all of the options available and browse the web pages. Now if at any point I want to go back, when you press the back key you'll notice that you get panels that come up on the screen. These are really all the pages that you've previously visited so you can jump straight back to the beginning or go to the previous page without having to go through all of the pages in between. So to go back to my home page, simply press on it, it'll then reload up the home page again. So it gives you nice and quick access to anywhere that you're viewing online. The ability of this browser to view full websites is apparent. It also means with having a 3.2 inch screen, you have a really nice easy viewing angle. If you tilt the handset, it'll also change it to a widescreen view to be able to get online and use it this way. When you're finished, hit the options key and then scroll all the way down to exit. And this will take you back out onto the main menu screen, again available in portrait or in landscape. The next part of this clip is to show you the applications that are available on the Sony Ericsson Vivaz handset. Here are a few that are going to be preloaded and the two in which I'm going to pay more attention to are YouTube and Facebook. First of all with YouTube, this application loads up in widescreen. Straight away you'll see you have a search bar at the top to look for any clips. You also have the recent videos across here and then you have tabs to visit the most rated, most viewed and most recent. If we want to search for a clip, tap on the search bar and here's one I've searched for earlier. You then hit the search icon. This will then load up all the clips that are available and you can scroll through them simply by dragging your finger across the screen. Each one of them has a description across the bottom and to play it, tap on the icon. This will then load it up in full screen. At any point, press on the screen and you'll have the options of rewind, pause, fast forward or you can simply drag the toolbar across the bottom here to go to a different part of the video. When you're finished, press the back key and it will take you to the previous menu screen, back again, or then take you to the home page. When you're finished, go to the menu and then scroll down to exit. The next application I'd like to show you is Facebook. When you select the icon, it'll log in. The very, very first time you use this, it'll ask for your username and your password. I've already put this information in, so it'll take you directly to my home page. 
Again, like all of the applications available on the Vivaz handset, you can view it in landscape or in portrait. Straight away, it will take you to your wall where you can view any posts put on by any of your friends or any of them by yourself. The next part is a dedicated wall to you, any posts that people have put onto your wall. The next element is your photographs. This will list every single album that you have uploaded any photographs to on Facebook. And at the very end, you have your inbox for any private mail that has been sent and received using your account. This is all based on the homepage of your account. The next panel across the top is your friends. So this is where it lists every single friend that you have in Facebook. And from there you can then click on any of them. And from there you can view their information and any email addresses. You've also got the ability to go straight back to your friends or go into the wall of the previous person you've looked at or any photographs that they have as well. From here when you're finished you can either go back to the home page to be able to view any of your recent wall or any posts that have happened or you can simply press options and then exit and it will take you out of the application. As I said it will remember your information for the next time round so that when you do start up the application you don't need to input your username and password Pressing back again will take you out and straight onto the main menu screen. Thanks very much for watching this clip on how to use the web browser and also running through some of the applications that you have on the new Sony Ericsson Vivaz handset. Look out for some more clips online.